All right, what is up, YouTube? Now, this Secret Rares has been revealed, and my God, a lot of people are upset because these are some of the bas basically most key cards. This is a key card, this is a key card, and these two are key cards, and this is a key card. These two, I mean, I don't know what the fuck this is, but this card is very good, so I'm not surprised that it's a Secret Rare, but, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, these are not really key cards, but... And then this is just in its own little thing because it can be great, can be a key card to certain decks. But a lot of people are very upset that, you know, the best cards in this set, well, you know, except for Momorath, are all secret rare. And I don't understand that. I, I don't get why people don't like the best cards to be the secret rares. If I was buying a box, I don't want to pull Painful Escape from my fucking secret. I just spent 60 fucking dollars on a box and I pull Painful Escape and some other bullshit secret that doesn't do anything. There's no, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if majority of people buy boxes or buy packs or something, but when you pull this fucking secret rare that just does nothing in the meta, doesn't do anything, it fucking hurts, and it makes you not even want to buy packs. This is going to make you want to buy packs, and that's when, you know, to my personal opinion and my personal experience with the game, that's when the game was most fun for me. When Potter Diwali was a fucking secret, I couldn't wait to go to locals. I couldn't wait to buy a box i couldn't wait to buy some packs i couldn't just wait i couldn't wait to play because it's like damn i got a chance to get a pot of duality i got a chance to get a scrap dragon a solemn warning an effect veiler all these cards made me want to go to more tournaments so i can get more credit win more money or go to like a box tournament so i'm so excited whenever they announced the boxing tournament or i wanted to go to i wanted to go to regionals more because i knew that even if i did scrub out or lose fucking five times in a row i still got five packs and i have a chance to pull something good now, when you, all your secret rares, only one secret rare, like, what was the last set? Dimensional Barrier and fucking Tree Turtle was the only two good secret rares. Now, the rest of them, uh, I can't remember all of them, but they're pretty much shitty because I can't even remember them. So, I remember I bought fucking, like, 12 packs, and I fucking, cause I, you know, I, I win locals from time to time, so I use the credit and I just buy packs because what the fuck else am I going to use it for? Uh, a soda? No, I'm just buying some packs, and I pull two of the goddamn Rebellion XYZ, the rank up. I'm like, come on, man, this could have been a tree toad. This shit could have been a fucking dimensional barrier, something good. But no, I pull shitty. So I understand that you know this does hurt their pockets, but I personally enjoy when this when when this happens when they like when they make max the highest rarity. They, the best cards in the set, they make a highest rate. I don't know why it took me so long to get that. And I understand that a lot of people don't feel the same way. But I personally, would, whenever I go play, man, and I go buy a pack, I'm, I'm excited when something is good to get. When there's something in it, like this whole set is looking pretty good. As a zombie player, my shit ain't secret, so I'm good. But <laughs> they, ain't, they ain't got the point. Like, the, even the ultra rares, like three of the ultra rares are fucking good. Those are probably going to be like $10 to $15, probably, to win, which is where were they? Were they, nope, that wasn't it. Where was it at? I don't even know what this shit is, but that's a fucking ultra. These are rares. Like, thank you. These are all ultras. That's fine because these are good cards. I would want to pull good cards. I wouldn't want my ultras to be this shit because then there's times where you won't even pull a damn. I remember I seen a, a, a case opening and dude only pulled three twin twisters. Like, come on, man. Like, <laughs> you would rather have fucking... You don't want these to be your goddamn secrets because then you're going to feel bad about buying it. This card right here, which is so fucking busted that nobody's talking about because of the, the, the secret rares and stuff. This shit is a fucking brilliant fusion. This is a double summon for no reason. It's just when it's summoned, you get an extra normal summon. So it's like you don't, now you don't have to play zombies no more. It's a level five that you can use this, discard this and special. And then in worst case scenario, you draw both. They set your scales up. So it's like, I don't know why nobody's talking about that. That is, that is a pretty good card. I mean, these are common. So those are good cards. I like when good cards are uh, the best cards in the set. Are, I mean, the secret, because that means if I buy a box and I pull one of these cards. Now, I'm not going to keep any of these cards because as of right now, they're 80. So if they stay around that price, I'm selling them. I have no use for them. I'm not going to keep a $60, $70 card if I don't need it. This, I might keep. This, I definitely will keep because I don't believe this is going to even stay above 20 or 30 dollars i think this is going to be like a 15 dollar 10 dollar secret maybe even a two dollar secret dark eclipse was a two dollar secret how did y'all feel about them damn sets when you when you bought those boxes when you bought those packs and you pulled a fucking dark eclipser and you like shit i don't want this which one is eclipser i think yeah eclipser is the trap one 
Like that shit's like a two dollar fucking secret. So I don't know about y'all, but I do enjoy when the best cards in the game, I mean, best card in the set or when the set is just all spiffy and nice. And then you top it off with some sweet, crispy secrets that are actually worth buying the boxes. I know a lot of people say Konami just wants your money. Konami only makes money off the boxes that get sold from them. Now, after that, on the secondary market, they have nothing to do with them. It has to do everything with y'all. If y'all don't want to play this, just like Dark Eclipse, nobody wanted it. That shit's $2. Everybody who wants these cars are going to be expensive. That's just how it works. So let me know you guys' thoughts. This is just a little quick video. Uh, I still am going to upload later on today. It's, uh, what's the name? It's a little replay video of uh, uh, sharing new Zudak future infusions. So you guys look forward to that and definitely show that video some love because it's like 15 duels. So, yeah. But yeah, that is it for today. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this. What is your, do you like, you know, when your secrets are, you know, bad and then these are like, which, which way do you prefer? Do you like it like this? Or do you like it when, you know, the secrets aren't really the best cards in the set and these are like the super, these will all be like supers and rares and ultras and stuff. And another one more thing. I, I, I love Unizombie. But I hate that it's a fucking comment. I really hate you do that being a comment. It's so goddamn annoying when you look at that card. You know the, how good the card is. And it's just a fucking comment. I'm so glad Sage was the Ultra. And that's only like 4 to $5. So I don't understand why people complain. This is the cheapest Yu-Gi-Oh has ever been. These were going to be probably 40 50 60 at the most. I wouldn't say it's going to go 78 I don't think it's going to do that. I can't be very wrong. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, like, comment, subscribe, click add to help support the channel, and I will see you guys later on today.